Gamer alert? Gamer alert. Oh my god. Welcome back to the Gamer Alert Podcast. I'm your host, Topro Payne. With his co-host, Jeb Spoon. Today, we have a special guest. The Pope. Stop calling me the Pope. I'm safe. Thank you for inviting me. No problem, hey, Mr. Pangolin. Alright, off rip, usually... I like to give people would you rather questions, so I got one for you. Okay. All right. Would you rather fight a wizard or a Jedi? Um. Do we have to fight? Is this like a mandatory fight? Yeah. No. If you don't fight, then you just automatically get killed. Uh. Um. Um. I don't know. Probably a Jedi, but I would try to be friends with them. Okay, here's the thing. A Jedi would be fine, but I'd rather fight a wizard because a Jedi could just stop me in my tracks and just sling me and just, like, force choke me. While a wizard would have to actually aim his wand. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, like, well, it could be like that. What about you, Jeff yeah. Spoon? What do you think? I want to fight a Jedi just because I want my limbs to be chopped off by a lightsaber. You know how cool that would be? That would actually be cool. Like, you wouldn't even feel it. You wouldn't. It's not like it would be painful or anything. And I could get, like, a cool prosthetic, and I'd have the story, I got my leg chopped off by a Jedi. Jebediah, is this one of, like, your, like, weird, like, death-like things? Oh, yes. Yes. You know me, Jeb Spoon, famous for my death things. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I got one for you. I got one for you, Mr. Pangolin. Would okay. you rather be a woman or an iguana? <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, <laughs> answer wisely. <laughs> answer, answer wisely. Answer wisely. Jebediah, what does that mean? Saying this, you must answer. It oh, means I exactly that. what I said. I'm asking why, you why, what why, your preference why, would be. Like, this, this sounds controversial. I'm not saying that I, I have like, anything against being a woman. I'm just saying being a lizard would be really cool. So, mm, yo, I, 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 I would I, rather I, be a lizard than be a man. Why would it be any different? You know, to- I, I, here's what I would be. I'd be a woman because instead of being named Toe, I'd be Tobet. 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 True. And I have the long hair, and I would be what about on the... Just- Girl swim team. What about just the cross? What about Bean? What about Bean? Beanet. Yeah. Beanet. Mm. Beanet. Or or Jeb would be Beanto. Beanto. <gasps> Pinto Bean. Yes. Bean. Okay. I would rather be a lizard, not because I have anything anything against women, but because I have a lot of things for lizards. I mean, you don't have to pay taxes or worry about homework or school or anything like that. You just get to chill on a hot sun and die at a very young age. <laughs> that yeah. doesn't sound good at Okay, all. forget that last part. But imagine just the happiest moments in your life just being chilling on hot rocks. That sounds like boring. Sure, you have to, you have to like evade the occasional bird okay, guys. of prey. So Toa has to unexpectedly go, Jeb, can you take it from here? Sure. Wow. Wow. SMH. Four minutes in. Four minutes in. Pro propane. It looks like his propane caught fire. See you on the next episode. Oh my god. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Okay. Well, so. Guess it's a one on one interview now. Yeah, since you're the only one left, would you like to make this interview a debate? Yes. But first, I have two more would you rather questions on hand. I wrote them down, so you're gonna have to listen to them. Okay. Number two. <laughs> Would you... Okay, I wrote these down at like 3 a.m., so this one makes less sense. Why, would... why, would, why would you stay up until 3 a.m.? I didn't. I woke up in like the middle of the night, and I was just like, I need to write down these three sentences for no reason whatsoever. And I decided, might as well put them in the podcast. And wow. Mr. Propane was just like, I bet. So, okay, the question is, um, try and make sense of this, this 3 a.m. Yeah. ramble. Would you rather have 
unlimited bacon, but no games. Or games, unlimited game, and no games. <laughs> so, um, let me repeat that for you. Would you okay. rather have unlimited bacon, but no games, or games, unlimited game, and no games? And no games. What that second part does doesn't make sense. Okay, let's let's phase this out, right? So the first part, mm -hmm. you have unlimited bacon and no, unlimited bacon and no games, right? Uh huh. The okay. second part, okay. games, unlimited game and no games. So let's say so okay, the unlimited games and the no games cancel out. So you're left with you can only have one singular game. That's, that's kind of, um, weird. Okay, um, so... I would say, I would say I'd rather have the game. Wow, you know what, Mr. Pangolin? Yeah, Mr. Probe Kane. Just, what, what was, what was that? Kane will just bleep it out, alright? Bleep it out, alright? You know what, Mr. Pangolin? What if he doesn't and we have to redo the whole thing? We won't, it's easy to bleep out. If he forgets to, I will. Anyway, okay. um... You know, this is why you're a terrible person. You could have ended world hunger with that unlimited bacon. Instead, you chose Fortnite. You chose for Mr. Pangolin, you really just chose Fortnite over world Jebedi hunger. Jebedi huh? Jebedi 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 you I really just like chose question. You this just chose question. Minecraft this over question. solving this world was, hunger. This question was a trap. <laughs> you're a trap. Anyway, <laughs> moving on to the <laughs> final <laughs> question. <laughs> No, 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 we're gonna continue this. Okay, first off, bacon is unhealthy, so those people are gonna die. It, I'd rather, I'd rather they die of like, I'd rather they die of diabetes at like age 60 than die of hunger at age 12. It's not a reliable food source. Maybe not, but it's better than having nothing. Mm, I don't, I don't think so. Okay, would you rather... A, brush your teeth with shampoo for the rest of your life, or B, Ew. wash your hair with toothpaste. Who? Okay, first off, let me just Google something. <laughs> Is toothpaste good for your hair? <gasps> Wait, these are actual questions? Actual questions? Yes, leaving toothpaste on your hair long enough may bleach your hair, but that doesn't mean that you should try it. If you leave toothpaste on any of your hair for a signal, then the toothpaste will come with your other questions. Okay, so basically, if you use toothpaste and leave it on for a very long time, your, your hair starts getting fragile. Mm-hmm interesting but like at the same time shampoo is nasty when it gets in your mouth like no one wants to do that Audio true a jebediah what is that background music is that too no 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 i don't i don't think we need that all right um that should have been in since the beginning of the thing Hmm. Uh, whatever, it's fine. We can have it in future ones. We're not very professional yeah. podcasts here, ladies and gents. Our our co-host left five minutes in. <laughs> was it even five minutes? It was, like it was four minutes, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, what did you want to debate, Mr... Oh, oh yeah. Pangolin. I mean, not Pangolin. Mr. Pangolin, um, right. Ant eaters. Ant eaters? Yes, this oh, is a. God. Is that a yeah, okay, background information. Um, Jebediah over here is a big anteater hater, and he wants to commit mass genocide on anteaters. Well, I don't necessarily want to commit mass yes, genocide. You do. I yes, just want yes, them all do. gone out of my sight. What? They can go to some other state, some other what? town. As long as there's none in this one, in my direct eyeline, I'm fine. There isn't any in your direct eye line. Then That's there's no the problem, thing. right? No, because you still make it a problem. I disagree. You make it a problem. Do not start lying. I disagree. You 
No. Listen, don't hear me out though, okay? Let's not debate the killing of Anders because in general, it is a Jebediah state-approved opinion that killing Jebediah is bad. State no, mm -hmm. that, I don't think that exists. I know. You guys can quote me on this, all right? And all my listeners, y'all can quote me on this. And this might be I'm a little controversial. You. This might be a little controversial. I might get in a little hot water with the producers for this. But killing is bad. Really? I know. What? I said it. I said it. It's too late now. It's what out there. What did you say? I didn't hear you. Didn't killing hear you. is bad. Killing? Killing. K-I-L-L-I-N-G. That's not debatable. That's like common knowledge. Thank you for agreeing with me on this hot take. If we're going down, I guess we'll go down together, yeah? Okay, well, you see, here's the thing. You want to kill all ant eaters. I don't. I do don't. I just want them. I just want them gone. That doesn't necessarily mean dead. That's just where your so mind took them. How do you want them to be gone? Just, just, just gone. Just poof. You know. That's, Let's not that's debate not uh, the methods. Let's debate the reasons. You know, the theory behind them. You know, putting by theory into practice you, and all by, that. Why you hate ant eaters? Yes. I mean, why are you such an anteater apologist? Have you seen an I'm anteater? Not, I'm not an anteater. And to be specific, uh, to be specific for just, my I'm listeners. Uh, sorry, can I cut you off? You can continue yeah, after. Yeah. To be specific for my listeners, I don't want all anteaters gone. Some of them are pretty cute. Pangolins, for example. Mr. Pangolin's namesake. That is, that is such, hold up. No, 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 no. They're not half bad. I have to, I have to. No, I have to. I have to interrupt you. This is such a contradiction to what you've said in the past. You said some ant eaters, and I quote: "Some ant eaters are cute." That is such a lie. You listen. The only ones I really hate are giant ant eaters. What? The only ones I really hate are giant ant eaters. Oh my gosh! Why? It's just. Have you seen a picture of a giant ant eater? Let Google them, alright? My listeners, Google giant anteater and click images. What's wrong with them? Okay, okay. What Mr. Other Sanctus. Types of ant eaters are there? Is this, this like what the first time? image that comes up shows everything that is wrong with these things. Number one, reason number one, they look like they're coloring. It's so bad. This like about, this like brownish black color mixed with like the dirty white is just every home designer's nightmare. It's just a bad color scheme. Reason number two: their tails are bigger than their actual bodies. Like they're already called giant ant eaters. Like they're big what's enough. What's wrong? What's wrong with their tail? Do you see how oversized their tail their tail their, is? Their it's like it's like these these ant eaters are practically wearing a mullet. They're practically their wearing a mullet. Number three, no, they're not. They, they're, they're their really noses not. way too long. Their their eyes are built into the side of their nose. That should just tell you how big their noses are. They're okay. like they're disgusting. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Then, I um, mean, Jebediah. Mm -hmm. So, first off, um, wow, the body shaming. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, how dare you body shame the tail? Also, would you rather them just like not have a long mouth at all and starve to death? Yes. Because that's what they need to eat. Oh, so, so. so just just to be clear, I'm not, I'm not advocating. I'm not advocating for the killing of ant eaters. I'm just saying it wouldn't be such a bad thing if it happened. Bacon. So you're telling me bacon is a good food source so that people don't go um, into world hunger, but you're okay with um, ant eaters losing their their noses like smart. Are you comparing like starving children to ant eaters? I don't no. think their lives equate each other. Also, if you were starving and you were to choose between eating bacon and not eating at all, which do you think you would choose? Huh? Yeah. Um, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Are you telling me you would choose to starve to death instead of eating bacon? Sure, it's unhealthy, but you want to know what's no, more I'm unhealthy than eating a, bacon? I would choose a bacon. Yeah. Oh. Y'all, yeah. sorry for the um, technical difficulties. We're back with our guest, Sanctus Pangolin, and your host, Jeb Spoon. Now, 
Where were we? Oh, yes. And those are all the reasons why giant, giant ant eaters are the worst animal. Also, because they just look kind of okay, ugly. Here, okay, here's a question. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, from what we got from this, is that your body is shaming them, and you'd rather have them starve to death. Which to Whoa, me that is a major bully, jump from what I and said. And animal cruelty, animal cruelty. Okay, one, that is not what I said. I just said, I'm not body shaming them. I'm just pointing out the facts. And the facts are that they are disgusting. That is not a fact. That is your opinion. No, no, you're which wrong. Is different. You're simply wrong. Okay, well, I'm just going to... Uh, okay, well, what you take from this is that ant, ant, ant eaters have weird tails and would rather have their noses cut off because it's weird. Yeah. What I take from this is that you're body shaming them, bullying them, and approve animal cruelty. Uh, no. No, you're simply yeah. wrong, and I'm simply right. Oh, I'm right? Is no, that what you no, said? No, you are wrong. No, I think you said otherwise. No. You know what? You know, no. I got you on this podcast. You know, my co-host, he was like, I don't know whether we want this Sanctus guy. I mean, who, who even is he? The Pope? The Pope of what? And I was like, you no, know, no, maybe, no, maybe we should give him a chance. But you know what? You have insulted me and lied about me and slandered me on my own podcast and I will not stand for it. You know what? Good day you know, to you, sir. Good day. You know, you know me I'm good day. I you said I said good day. I said good day. You know, no, no, listen, listen. You know me I'm pro friends, right? Anyway, anyway, uh well I just kicked off the the uh other guy from the podcast. Yeah. Uh no uh, no thanks. Uh I no, always... did it. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah he's gone now. Uh, 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 oh my god. How stubborn are you? Sanctus. Jesus. Alright. There we go. He gone. He gone. Now. Okay. Jesus. Popes, am I right? Anyway. Um, lesson learned. Jeb Spoon is always right. Thank you, listeners, for listening to the podcast. If you liked it, tune in for the next episode. Uh. Bye. Hey y'all, sorry for the um, technical difficulties. We're back with our guest, Sanctus Pangolin, and your host, Jeb Spoon. Now, where were we? Oh yes, and those are all the reasons why giant ant eaters are the worst animal. Also because they just look kind of ugly. Okay, here's the question. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, from what we got from this, is that your body is shaming them, and you'd rather have them starve to death. Which to Whoa, me sounds like that is a major bully, jump from what I and said. animal cruelty, animal cruelty. Okay, one, that is not what I said. I just said, I'm not body shaming them. I'm just pointing out the facts. And the facts are that they are disgusting. That is not a fact. That is your opinion. No, no, you're wrong. Which is different. You're simply wrong. Okay, well, I'm just going to... Uh, Okay, well, what you take from this is that ant, ant, ant eaters have weird tails and would rather have their noses cut off because it's weird. Yeah. What I take from this is that you're body shaming them, bullying them, and approve animal cruelty. Uh, no. No, you're simply yeah. wrong, and I'm simply right. Oh, I'm right? Is no, that what you no, said? No, you are wrong. No, I think you said otherwise. No. You know what? You know, no. I got you on this podcast. You know, my co-host, he was like, I don't know whether we want this Sanctus guy. I mean, who, who even is he? The Pope? The Pope of what? And I was like, no, know, no, maybe, maybe we should give him a chance. But you know what? You have insulted me and lied about me and slandered me on my own podcast, and I will not stand for it. You know what? Good day you know. to you, sir. Good day. You know, you know me. I'm good day. I you said, know, I said good day. I said good day. You know, no, no, listen, listen. You know me. I'm pro friends, right? You, you, you. Anyway, you anyway. Uh, well, I just kicked off the the uh, other guy from the podcast. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, no, thanks. Uh, I'm no, always. you did it. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, he's gone now. Uh, 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 oh my God, how stubborn are you? Sanctus. Jesus. All right. There we go.
He gone. He gone. Now. Oh, okay. Jesus. Popes, am I right? Anyway. Um, lesson learned. Jeb Spoon is always right. Thank you, listeners, for listening to the podcast. If you liked it, tune in for the next episode. Uh, bye.